And therefore, the Christian leader must commit <laughs> to the process of change rather than the demand for change is vital for the success of leadership. Okay, as a leader, you cannot be impatient. Because every change takes time. We cannot just demand we want to change today and we expect it to happen. It doesn't happen. So in fact, in life, everything in life is a process. Process means there is uh, what we call that there is uh, a time frame and there are parts that need to be put together before you can get what you want. Then process there's no magic in church. God is not a magician. All right. Yes, God do miracles. He's not a magician. So everything is about process. In fact, there is nothing in this world that is instantaneous. Even in God's creation of the world, it's a process. God didn't just create everything all in one day or just snap his finger and everything was done. In creation, it takes six days. And it's not just the time, six days, but that every day is built on the day before. It was a process. Second day was built on the first day, third day was built on the second day and the first day, fourth day was built on the third day, second day, first day. Without first, second, third, fourth day cannot happen. So it was only after everything is in place, then the final part of the process was God creating mankind. Okay, so the Christian leader, as leaders, we must understand this. Church is not magic. <laughs> cannot grow overnight. <laughs> you cannot be a strong Christian overnight. You <laughs> cannot become disciple overnight. <laughs> so therefore we must commit <laughs> to the <laughs> idea that everything is a process. <laughs> but in understanding process, we must Accept and embrace this concept. And that is, we must adopt a biological worldview rather than a mechanistic worldview. Biological shoot down to the explanation is here. A wholesome approach. Biological means wholesome approach to development. Mechanistic is like that, like that, like that. Okay, you know what I'm saying? The power was in it. We don't move here. But we don't make mechanisms around touching, touching, to what I'm doing. The people need to change your mind. Okay, biological means biological. Yeah, many things can only happen if something has already taken place first. So the good is you can have you might not say that I'm you building up. But for example, you cannot have fruits until first of all. The seed is planted. And when the seed is planted, tomorrow you cannot get fruit. From the seed, it must first become seedling. Mm -hmm. That will be the shoot. 
Then one leaf comes out. Then two leaves. Three months later, now we have two branches. Six months later, it's a bigger tree. End of the year, flower first. Then only get right. So by logical means, you take into consideration that for anything to happen, all the pieces must be in place. Mechanistic worldview simply means this, it is based on formula. Mechanistic and Nilangalo formula for my chief you body. So, and some people talk like that. If you want to be cross song Christian, they have we pray my agitated as long as you read Bible, pray, go to church, everything okay. They have to be done up on a suit of a piano coming to a city. This is very important. But there's more than just this. You also need to build relationship. Fellowship. Alright, then you need to serve also. You understand what I'm saying? Life is not controlled and dictated or determined by formulas. Formula now go like you don't want to take your time to be It's just like church growth. I think I did all what I did away. So again, sometimes we hear teaching like if you have small group, sure grow. Ah, they know ma. Put the energy in. Do you want to live? You want to church to grow? Just have miracles. The miracle can happen. As long as miracles, church will grow. Ah, the miracle can happen. They know my pain. They know do I do you want to live? Yes. Man, not completely true. Damn it. Because beside the miracles, there must be strong discipling also. There must be love and care. There must be good teaching. The church must be healthy if it is to grow. And to be healthy, it means everything. Okay, same again, another illustration. Now then, you don't want to do shit, yeah? Oh, if you want to stay healthy, then how do you do it? Exercise. They are living a low one. As long as you exercise, they are living a low one. You will live long. They are the shit, baby. But there are a lot of people who exercise a lot and die very young. Ah, sorry, living a low. So it's the one to do that, you mean? All right. Then another group of people say, "Don't worry. If you want to be healthy, eat." Healthy food. Now the boy at the bureau. Jamma jin, jamma jin. No sugar, no salt, no fat. You eat like that, she has stay healthy. But the jamma say, don't eat fat, don't eat sugar, don't eat salt. The sea was on it, the jari was on it, the mani was on it. Eat less food. Don't eat too much. Asa yam was on it, shosa. You will live long. But there are many people. Who eat like that and die young? I die so young. So it is one. So it is one. Yeah, you. Right? Yes. You see, this is a mechanic. They think is this. If not this, then is that? No. You know how I view healthy. How to be healthy? So no jam abu da blue hole. You can exercise. You can eat the right food. You can eat all the supplement. But if you are mentally not healthy, also cannot be healthy. Because now we are discovering. It's not just what you eat, how you think is also very important. If you're always negative here, you eat all the good food, do all the exercise, also can fall sick and die young. They are sat out your mama's arm, they are living alone, but I'm a drink of mama's solution and they are so easy to die. Then now they discover another thing. Now that Ruta Shapiria, people live long if they have good relationships with people. So what the Bible says is true. It's body, soul, and spirit. It's not a biological worldview. In other words, we look at life not in parts and pieces. We look at life in a complete whole. Alright, so as a Christian leader, when we disciple people, a good disciple is not just someone who comes to church and pray. It also includes the other components that make a Christian a good 
Christian. In other words, you can be the Christian who just loves the Lord, fast and pray, loves the Lord. But if you love the Lord but don't love people, also cannot. <laughs> ah, yeah. And you know that there are people who are so close to the Lord but no friends. ที่เราเป็นตระเกียบเช่นนี้ตัวอย่างนี้ใช่ไหมครับแต่ที่เราเป็นคนที่ดีที่สุดของโลกนี้ใช่ไหมครับแต่ที่เราเป็นคนที่
That's the bottom line. That's the motive. That's the goal. To make disciple. But what is the process to which you make disciple? The next part of that verse says teaching them to obey to observe the word observe here means teaching them to follow teaching them to do teaching them to act upon everything I have taught you are you still today good no it's so interesting the Lord didn't say teaching them to follow, to act, everything I taught them. You see, Jesus didn't say, teaching them to follow, to do, whatsoever thing I taught them. It's given to everybody. But he said, to us, you teach them, them, everything I taught you. Now, you teach them everything I taught them. <laughs> Amen. Amen. In discipleship, is, I am teaching you everything I am doing. Teaching you what you should do. It's teaching you what I do. Amen. So discipleship is we transferring our life to another person. Transmitting everything we have received, everything we are doing to that person. If I am giving, I teach you to give. If I'm praying, I teach you to pray. You pray because I pray. How did this call discipleship? Not me telling you why you should pray. You should pray because I, your leader, pray. Because I, your leader, give. You worship God because I, your leader, worship God. And as the leader, I worship God and do all those things because God said we should do. <laughs> I give to you. And what I have, I should give to you because what I have is given to me by Jesus. So therefore what I give to you is powerful because it is given to me by Jesus. But what happens is this the process. Whatever Jesus has given to me, I have already digested it and experienced it. So when I pass it to you, I'm able to really help you. ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไ
Make your life the textbook. Then for what? Then then Johnny, the sound keeps us. Not tell the other person. Let your life become an inspiration to somebody else. So they want to look. They don't know so they are pumped and keep us. So we don't know that. They pumped and hard. They pumped and hard. So they want to look. So they are keep us. Here's where we come to the next word, mentoring, not instruction only. What is mentoring? What is mentoring? Mentoring is sharing your life values, experiences, wisdom, testimony, revelation, and your life story. All of us got to believe this. Every one of us have a story to tell. The gospel story that we must share it's not just the gospel story of Jesus. The gospel story of Jesus must become the gospel story of our life. ยิ่งคิดเราเองก็ยิ่งสนับสนุนเราดูเลยโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโ
ตัวเนี้ยกันนอนอยู่กับตู่บาเบียร์กูนักกูเนี่ยออกสิเนี่ยสักเซสโซเลยอ่ะเอาเนี่ยเอาเนี่ยตัวนี้สิเอเมนเ
Many times you say, God answered my prayer. God did this for me. God did that for me. Let me ask you a question. Do you have any doubt? 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 Have you noticed that almost 100% every time when God answer our prayer, He answers through a human channel. It is to human. My life has been changed by God. True. But it could be because Somebody share something to you. Read the passage of scripture to you. Can you just listen to Pastor Zoyan? But you testify. God changed me. Which is true. But God used him. You understand? So you could have prayed, God changed me. But it could be three months later before he preached that message. He heard it. It changed your thinking. You see, in order for the prayer to be answered, it was not so simple as God just got to give you. God got to find the right person. And that person must be in the position to receive from God. Then ready to give to you. Until that process <laughs> happened, it will look as if your prayer has not been answered. The reality is the day you pray, God already heard it. The pieces have to be in place. Before the actual What's the difference between mentoring and coaching? The mentoring is coaching, coaching is Coaching is transferring value, transferring wisdom, transferring revelation. Coaching lo beijing sura tamburi dia de de ne nian de nia gu transfer lo ai biao beijing pia ba. Which bring the end result of reformation and transformation of that person. Coaching, coaching has to do with performance. Coaching It has to do with effectiveness. It has to do of uh, with the expect of uh, getting results better, more results. Alright, so that's the reason. You have football teams and sports teams. They have coaches, not mentors. Because their intention is to score more goals, get more victory. And that's where the coach comes in to help them to get better performance. So in discipleship, the coaching is also important when you guide that the brother or the sister to become more effective in his or her Christian life. Alright, another way in which we do our discipling is education rather than just informing. Education here means having a whole system and a whole setup where there is a systematic transfer of knowledge. 
Perché se ne già le pose mi urlano rubo, ti già abbia la. You lay foundations layer upon layer upon layer. Se ne già lo ne te semi te se, cioè che te semi te se te semi te se, se ne già so ne te rubi sau via. So for those of you who are doing follow up and discipleship, please remember this. Di lì di ma te chori che ho da un lo ne te tu le, now lai ne te tu le, now va. All those heart to heart, uh, ad hoc in guidance and teaching that we give. Yes, it will meet a need, it will help the person, but it will not lay firm foundation. To lay firm foundation, you have to systematically educate that person. ဒီရှုပ်ကတော့အတိတိတဲ့တပဲတော့ဖြစ်လာဖို့အတွက်ကျွန်တော်တို့မှာလမ်းခရီးဆိုတော့ဒီရှုပ်ကတော့အတိတ
ตรุษนี่ไม่มีไม่ได้เนี่ยมาตรุษอ่ะยงจีเจมาอาจีโดมั้ยเครียดตะตะมาเลยอาจีนี่โดมาเลยบาจองตะตรุษอเชกันซ
What else needs to be in place? Was what's the environment that needs to be created? What are the supportive <coughs> that needs to be in place? So every day, what was created was precisely exactly what needs to be created. Not by chance. <laughs> Not by chance. Not by chance. Not by chance. Not by Not by chance. 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 Not by you will understand this too, that in construction, you cannot build the third floor if no first floor. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Uh, you may have the plan to build a twenty story building, but you cannot build the third floor. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Uh, you may have the plan to build a twenty story building, but you cannot build the third floor. Hello? Hello? And if you are going to complete that, you need to do it systematically and in an organized manner. You cannot systematic charge on it. You cannot say tomorrow we will do the tenth floor. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, I think I'll do the sixteenth floor. Oh, no. Now the giant such a lot of got to go by the system. System just on a lower body. First thing, but about it, clear the land. Did you share about it? Not lay foundation first. <laughs> the foundation is sucking Clear the land. You know, you After clear the land, <laughs> remove the earth. Then foundation. The foundation is And from foundation, first floor. Only the first floor, second floor, third floor, third floor. It has to be done in an organized, systematic, logical, proper way. God is like that. Have you ever wondered why it takes so long for Jesus to come? Because the plan of redemption was already spoken in Genesis chapter 1. Oh, sorry, chapter 2. Chapter 3. After man fell. In his curse to Satan, to the serpent, God already said to him, The seed of the woman shall push your head. The plan of redemption, that Jesus would come and die, and his death will destroy the devil. Genesis already but Jesus didn't come until thousands of years later. You see, it got to be the right time when all the pieces are already in place. That's why I say God is a God of design. He's a God of order. It's a God of purpose. And it's a God of objectivity. Alright, and if God is like that, are you with me? Let's move on to the next one. You either be organized or you are agonized. In other words, if you don't organize, you suffer. <coughs> Many of the pains that we go through in life is simply because you didn't organize. That's why we got the hate, we got the problem, we got all those situations. Some of the pains we go through are self created. Organization is important because organization helps to remove some of the pain some of the difficulties, some of the problems we don't have to have if we are organized. Alright, why? Why organize, organization remove the agonizing, remove the headache, remove the problem? Because organization helps to maximize 
results and optimize the use of resources. We are all stewards. Stewards means we are all servants of God. ကျွန်တော်တို့အားလုံးဟာစတီဗစ်မင်းစ်ဘီအောင်စီရင်ဖြစ်တယ်ဒီစာဒီစာဒီစာဒီစာဒီစာဒီစာဒီစာဒီစ
Responsibility is what is given and assigned to you to do. The responsibility is what I want to do. And in carrying out the responsibility, you can do it either by yourself or there can be a group of people that can share the responsibility. But accountability is not. Accountability is you must be answerable for what you do by yourself. It's individual. Accountability is individual. Alright, and the Bible speaks a lot about accountability. First of all, God says we are accountable to Him. Second Corinthians 5 then says, Every one of us will appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And we will have to give an account of what we have done with our life, whether good or bad. Note what it says in 2 Corinthians 5.10. Each one of us, the wife will be held accountable as a person. The wife cannot lump it together. God, talk to my husband. <laughs> we are a team. <laughs> Each one. God is going to hold us accountable for our life. Matthew 25 is another story of accountability. This uh, passage gives us the story or the parable of the talents. You remember the story? Okay, the Bible says there was a man who has servants under him. And this man wants to go for a long journey. And before he left for the journey, he called his servants and gave to each of the servants some talents. Five talents, two talents, and one talent. And the accountability was this. When the master come back, everybody have to give an account what they did with the talents. Do you know the story how it ends? The one who got five, he multiplied it. He did well. He was accountable to the talents. That what God had given to him, he is supposed to multiply it. <laughs> and his accountability resulted in him being promoted. The Bible tells us that the master was so pleased with this guy. His promotion was not more talents. Two year promotion. His promotion was authority given to him. You, you see how the thing worked? So, first it was just talents. His reward was to rule over cities. The second guy, same reward. He was faithful. He was accountable for his actions. And he ended up ruling over two cities. Four cities. The last guy didn't do anything. He was not accountable. And as a result of that, the Bible says he was kicked out. So here we must understand. First of all, God expects accountability. If God 
holds us accountable. We must be accountable to the church. Every one of us who are leaders in this church, you got to be accountable to this church. You cannot simply do what you want to do. And responsibilities that are given to you, you cannot say, I don't like what is given to me, the one to do. Or you take your responsibility lightly. Every responsibility given to you, you are accountable. There is no excuse. The church will provide whatever support, whatever counsel, whatever whatever coaching, whatever mentoring, whatever guidance that needs to be given to you. But once you receive the responsibility, now you must be accountable for what you have received. So like in our church, every year, I have an evaluation and accountability that I require from all my team members, all my staff. Every year we have a form that needs to fill out. To be accountable, what did you do the whole year? Did you fulfill your goals? Did you achieve what you say you achieved? You want to achieve? What you say you want to achieve? You are recruited into the church to contribute to the church. So what did you contribute? Then party will contribute located in the area that we think you'll get to the lobby. You see, most of us will make general statement like I have been very hard working. I did my job. But to be accountable, one step further. You need your job. What job? Please tell me. I carry out my responsibility. Now you must be accountable. You carry your response. Was it successful? Did you achieve what you are supposed to achieve in that responsibility? You see, when we work like this, what happens to us? We actually increase our productivity, increase our maturity, increase our capability. But when we don't do things with accountability, honestly, we don't grow. Because it's okay. Don't never mind. We delete it. Learn to see things from God's perspective. God is going to ask us to give an account. Amen. 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 We are also accountable to those who lead us. Now, this is a bit different from accountable to the church. But all of us are leaders here because the church gives us that honor. We are all leaders in the church because the church Give us that honor to be a leader. So as a leader, I need to be accountable to the church. Here church I'm referring to the congregation. To live, to live our life, live up to the expectation of the congregation for our lives. Because they give us the authority. Hello? Hello? Your right to lead them is given by the people. 
Dulia de logo, usa a bunda. ตัวเจ้าสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอสอส
she doesn't need to pay me any more damages because if she can see that I have been treated fairly, then she will pay me the money. 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 Carry out our responsibility with full. Sorry, our responsibility with full accountability. So now, Allah, so now, and in that time when you never said, so now, that time when you move, she made so. Who now? But she didn't tell you to do that. So now, God only requires that you go and in that day, you go some time with that one. Go and in that time, you have that one. You have like an Arab woman. The big headache of people at the top. So they just a lot. It's just is that many people take the responsibility, but they are not accountable. Do they now? Yeah, so I have. That one no job. I mean, that one is not so much job. When you give them, or when you ask them to give an account, they will say things like, "What to do? I try my best." Ah, now, how to do something? Do you? How to do something? I try my best. How to do something? Now sometimes it can be a bit hard, but sometimes I say this: your best is not best enough; it's not good enough. You see, if we carry our responsibility with full accountability, we will narrow down whatever risk that could be. Now we understand never hundred percent, never perfect, but we will reduce the risk. Of things going wrong and going bad, if every one of us function with full accountability. So now, how do we improve it? So now, at the end, how do we improve the other people? Look, my solution. Hey, I got my new job. You have to do my homework. So now, in our global ministry, we give away. I mean, every month, tens of thousands goes out of the church. So now, today, so now, we global ministry. We are all two pound two net. Two pound two net. I'm not the one spending the money. <laughs> but I need to be accountable to my church members who give the money. So I have to take, make sure all our pastors who receive the money, you don't spend the money on yourself. <laughs> Whatever we give to you, it's for the kingdom. So how do I exercise my accountability? To make sure they will receive. Babel like I'm accountable. And I have to be accountable. I have to be accountable. So no good I tell you what? Because people give it with love. They give it. With the expectation no, of expanding the kingdom, so, so I have, have to make sure that the money that I receive will never be used for anything except the kingdom. We are very strict about this in the church. Whatever is given to mission, one hundred percent all go out for mission. If so happen, our church have needs in Kuala Lumpur. We cannot use that money. Let's say the two account, church account, mission account, mission account, church account, mission account for one million dollars. Mission account for one million percent. Church account. Ten thousand. And church need money. Then no, I must have loan it. I cannot take some money. I must have budget loan. Mission account. Mission machine. I must have loan. Then no, the top people don't have. That's called being accountable. Because all this money is given for mission. Are you with me? So when we all function with full accountability, we protect one another and we protect what needs to be done. So be accountable to those who are leading you and 
The next point is no, no, we are accountable for the calling and the gifts we receive. No, 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 no You are not rewarded for what you get. You are rewarded for what you do with what is given to you. It's one thing to receive the talents and the gifts and the blessings of God. The next thing we got to ask ourselves. What? What we do with it. That's accountability. To him, much is given, much is required. That's the principle of God. To him, much is given, much is required. Not much is expected from that person. Okay, and at the end of the day, it's like again the parable of the talent. Five, you will be held accountable for the five. The two is held accountable for the two, not for anything more or anything less than what is given. And that's what the Bible also says. Those who are teachers, in James chapter two or chapter three, those who are teachers, they will be judged more severely. James chapter three. So he says, don't everybody want to be teacher? Because if you are a teacher. Your accountability is higher. Why? Because you are a teacher. Don't you teach yourself? They had in a say a pin and lack and yashi chene to the young losers and other machine. But I also do she say a pin and any care with them at down with the young yashi. So that's why in life, don't compare. Don't look at what other people have. Child, we must see that you are never the God is not going to ask you to be accountable for what you don't have. That's between that brother and God. That's between the sister and God. I got to be accountable for what I have. Sometimes we don't do. Uh, what we call our uh, we, we don't work on what we have because we think it is so small, so insignificant compared to the other person. But remember, accountability. In fact, if you have less, praise the Lord. Accountable is the same, but less, easier. <laughs> the one who is more gifted, also accountable. But because you are more gifted, more expected. Are you with me? Yeah. So don't always want a lot, a lot, because the more is given to you, the greater your accountability. Sometimes I look at my stuff and I say, I envy all of you now. I wish I'm also a staff. I wish I'm also a staff. I wish I'm also a staff. Because your accountability is so little. It is all the one ministry that you have. I say, me senior pastor. I'm senior pastor. I'm accountable for so many things. I'm going to make sure every month we have money to pay all of you. You don't have to think about it. They know I don't want to be with you. They know I don't want to be with you. They know I don't want to be with you. Every month 
Lara, you go to the bank and check your money, money credited to you or not? I, the whole month, you've got to make sure you <laughs> find the money and pay you. <laughs> then I got to think about global mission. <laughs> I got to think about all the other ministries. You're only one. So I wish I'm sitting over the other side. Less accountability. So that's why we have to understand that the higher you are, the greater your accountability. And that's why before you reach the top, make sure your life is developing and growing. Otherwise, you can oh, collapse. Amen. 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 So whatever your gifts are, don't compare with other people. I don't think like I to be accountable for it. And and produce the Amen. most that you can. Then look at the Yarigo, I come up. You took those who have five talents, work on the five talents. Then go and then I'm not doing that. Those who have two talents, work on the two talents. Those who have one talent, please go and then only one talent. So who wears it? So we don't have a little bit of it. Just work on the one talent. I took and then I took on my talent. And when the Lord calls you to the Kenya, the other Kenya, the town, Chilam, the other Kenya, if you have only received one talent, they have to go and like a Yashi, we don't go judge you only on one talent. But if we give you five talents, we will judge you based on five talents. God is fair. Let me open for you to ask questions. อันนี้วันเราจะเรียกว่าเป็นวันชีวะเวลาอารมณ์น่าเลยว่ามันจะมาดูเว็บอะไรกันนะสมมุติว่าคุณคุณอารมณ์อาศัยตรงเส้นอ
ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็ได้ก็
compassion love ตัวเด็ดอ่ะอายุน่ะตะยาเนี่ยอฉิดเนี่ยตัวจนรู้ก็เนี่ยแหละผีเชิญมาครับแต่ดังเสียจะ <laughs> Because he's the God who sees the future. After he sees it, he still gives to you. Do you know that everything that we do? He already knew when he called us. Along that journey, we go to fall. ကျွန်တော်တို့ကိုလဲမဲ့ဆိုတာတူကြိုးတိတယ်ပါနဲ့ဘာလိုမဲ့ဆိုတာတူကြိုးတိတယ်ဘာနဲ့ဘာလို
ဒီကိုလိုလဲရောမရပဲ။ in order to get the people that you need here, in order to get the things, the resources that you need to get it done. Now that the check out of thing how Lugo Lonida thing or Lonida. Alright? Then the fourth question you want to ask is timing. When? Where? Where do So those questions need to be asked. And here can be anything at the top here. If you don't ask these four questions, time to you will never get here. Where is the scripture for this? Psalms 24, verse 3 to 5. 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 By wisdom a house is built. By understanding it is established. To knowledge the rooms are filled with everything. By wise counsel, you will fight many wars and have many victories. So what is wisdom? Wisdom is what to do. Understanding is why you do. Knowledge is how to do. Knowledge is how to do. ก็ต้องรู้ลงเลยสุดยอดครับคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามารถคุณสามาร
ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไ